iPhone. Um, today we'll be talking about what we call the mitigation and breaker blocks, all right? In our previous video, we talked about um in we talked about some other blocks. We talked about the different kinds of other blocks and how to um treat other blocks, all right? That was what we discussed in our previous video, all right? So today we'll be talking about mitigation and breaker blocks. Um, these are advanced legs of um breaker blocks. These are advanced concepts of. Uh, mitigation blocks and it will really help your trading journey if you can add these two things to your house now all right so what are mitigation blocks all right um before i go that we will also um, try to classify them into two all right so we have the bullish and the bearish mitigation block all right um let me just make that um, easier all right mitigation blocks all right we have um we have two kinds. We have the bullish, right? We have the bullish mitigation, right? We have the bullish mitigation block. We have the bullish mitigation block, and we have the bearish, right? We have a bearish mitigation block, okay? Have the two kinds of mitigation block, the bullish and the bearish mitigation block. All right. Now, um, what is the relevance of this? What is the relevance of this? What is the relevance of this? All right. Now, um, the we have uh, these are the kinds of mitigation blocks that we have. We have the bullish and the bearish. All right. Now, the bullish mitigation block. All right. Let's define it. All right. We want to understand this concept so we can apply it to our trading. All right. The bullish all right, let's just make it MB. So I won't type more. The bullish mitigation block is the last, um, you know, is the last bullish candle, right? Before, or uh, let's say, let's just use the word Raya, right? Raya to so the Right, swing, right, low, that broke structure, right? So what you're simply mean, what simply means that the bullish mitigation block is the last bullish candle, right? Before the swing, low, let us make it easy, right? Let's do this, before the swing, low, that broke structure, right? So what we simply mean that a bullish mitigation block, all right? Imagine the market is trending upwards, all right? The market is trending upwards, all right? The market is trending upwards, right? Trending upwards, trending upwards. And then um, you see this and then, all right? All right. So if you draw out your line, let's assume that um, this point, all right? This point was some kind of, um, the resistance, right? There was some kind of resistance at this point, right? So this last bullish candle before this move down that formed the low and then broke structure is called the bullish mitigation block, all right? So you can label that, all right? You can label this as our bullish mitigation block, right? Uh, okay. The last candle that caused this, uh, this is our bullish mitigation block, all right? Bullish mitigation block, that's what it's called. A bullish mitigation block, right? It's the last bullish candle that cost after which you saw this low and then took out structure, right? So um the bearish mitigation block is um, um, also in that same format, all right? It's in that same format. So the bearish mitigation block is just the opposite, right? It's just the opposite of this. I don't say this is the bearish. Mitigation block is the last, right? Is the last bearish candle that before the swing high, right? Before the swing high, that broke structure, right? So um, it's just the opposite, right? So assume where we, um, the market was trending, right? The market was trending downwards, right? We're having a downtrend. The market is trending downwards, downwards, and then we have that last candle that formed the swing high and then broke structure downwards all right so we can see this as a, simply our mitigation block all right let's assume that there was some kind of um support around there right there was some kind of support around there uh maybe this may even be a double top 
maybe be a good also some kind of support around there. The market came out from this low and this high, sorry, and then broke structure. So we can label this as our mitigation block, our bullish, also our bearish mitigation block, because it's the last bearish kind that causes upward movement and then broke structure, right? So it's our bearish mitigation block, right? It's our bearish mitigation blocks, right? Or our bearish MB, right? So, um, how to trade this is very simple. When the market does this, you target this last candle and then the market will most often do something like this and then continue buying, right? So it's very easy to trade this. Always just look out for the last, last candle, highlight the candle for the future, and then take your trade when the market comes to mitigate it or to retest that candle, right? The same thing applies to the how to trade it in this format. The candle will most likely come to mitigate this particular candle, yeah? So you expect price to come and do this, then move down. So that is how to trade it, all right? So this is the concept of mitigation blocks. You always find it on your charts and they're very easy to trade, all right? Now let us talk about the breaker blocks, all right? Let's talk about the breaker blocks. The, um, the one thing you should notice that, um, um uh the breaker blocks right let us type it down so we can see it on our charts right breaker blocks right are similar to um mitigation blocks but breaker blocks usually give a Judas move or false break of trend structure. All right, so it usually gives a false, um, usually as they're similar, it usually gives a Judas move, which is a false break of trend structure. All right, so um, uh, this is uh, how it's a break up uh, similar to mitigation blocks but they usually give a Judas move or false break of trend structure. What do we mean by that, all right? So imagine the market is um, trending downwards, right? The market is trending downwards where we're having the series of lower highs and lower lows, 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 right? So now, in the, let's assume that there is some kind of um, support around here, all right? There was some kind of support around somewhere here, all right? There was some kind of support here, Right, let's say the market tried to break it the first time, right? Okay. Oh, okay. Now let's do this. Right, let's make it this way. So let's assume there's some kind of zone around there. There was some kind of zone around there, right? So most often the breaker block will do something like this. It will usually take out this last lower high and then break structure downwards right this is what the breaker block looks like right if you take out this last lower high giving us that false break of structure right so we'll be expecting price to come and push up but then to still come down and break a structure downwards so it usually take out the last lower high all right it usually take out the last lower high let's add that let's add that um mitigation right so yes Right, they usually take out the last lower high or lower low. Right, so the market was trending downwards. We have lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. So the this is the last candle. All right, this is this is a bullish um this is, yeah this is a bullish breaker block. Sorry, a bearish breaker block because the last bearish candle which took out the the last lower high and then came down. So it usually gives a false break of structure. So we can call this, let's label it. Let's label it. All right, I want us to understand this then. Let's label it. Okay. So this is what our bearish breaker block, okay? This so is our bearish breaker block. A bearish breaker block, right? So we can call this our bearish breaker block. This last candle, this last bearish candle, which caused this bullish move and then broke social downward. So this is our bearish breaker block, right? So the same thing happens in a bullish scenario, all right? The same thing happens in a bullish scenario. So imagine the market is trending upwards, is doing this low, high, low, high, right? And then it comes and does this before taking out the supposed move. So the resistance are both, 
So um, this is the same concept, sorry. All right, so there was some kind of um, support above here. So there was some kind of support somewhere here. So some kind of resistance around there. I right, let me make it smaller. All right, so the market, this uh, market fence bro, came out and took out this last higher low, giving us a false break of structure and then continue trending upwards. All right, so this is um, the, um, break, this is a, a bullish breaker block. It's the last bullish candle. I did this. All right. The last bullish candle, which took out the last, um, this is a bullish breaker block. The last bullish candle, right? So it's our bullish breaker block. Sorry. Yeah. So it's our bullish breaker block. It's the last bullish candle. All right. The last bullish candle before this swing low, we took out structure and then we took out the resistance above. So how to trade this is also similar. It's also similar to trade this. Right, to trade this, we just expect price to just come. Um, just expect price to do this, just come down, retest here, and then continue moving downward. And right, it's the same way we trade the um mitigation blocks, the same concept, right? So we just do that, right? We don't really stress ourselves with um the we just have to identify it, just wait for that um, move, and then um you do that. So we expect price to do the same thing. And this is in a bullish scenario. Price will usually do this. Come and retest to go up a bit. Come and retest this candle that did this, and then continue trading upwards. All right, so it's very easy to trade this. All right, so we we'll always find this in our charts. All right, so let us look at mm -hmm. our chart to see if we can find something like this. All right, let's delete all of this so we can have a clearer picture of this. All right, also. All right, those look at the big charts, right? Now, this is, um this market was trending downwards, as you can see, you see. Oh, uh, no, 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 let us go back a bit, all right? All right, okay, this is our charts. And as you can see, we can see that there was some kind of level around there. There was some kind of level around there, right? There was some kind of support here. So as you can see, this candle, right, that caused this push up and then broke structure down, it can be regarded as a bearish mitigation block. Why? Because um, we can see that the market um, was trending up worse and then we see this, this funny push up and then this is our um, bearish mitigation block. This candle, um, if you use your one hour, you will see it clearer, all right? You will see this clearer on the one hour, all right? Um, you can also see this in the same way. Look at this, right? This is also a, an example of this, right? Uh, we can see that price was going up, could not break. This is the last bullish candle, right? Which caused this push down and then broke structure upwards. So this is our bullish um, mitigation. Like as you can see, price came into this candle, all right? So if you highlight this candle, right? This is the candle, the last bullish candle. So if you highlight this candle to the future, right you can start price came about um let's say 50 percent or there about of this candle and then continue trending upwards so this is it you highlight the candle that caused this move the last bullish candle so you're highlighting the whole candle right you highlight the whole candle um let's make it a different color so we can see it clearly so um, so this is the whole candle see price came to mitigate this candle and then push up so this is an example of mitigation block all right, you can find this all through your charts. You can find this all through your charts. It's always there, um, very easy to trade. Always trade it in line with the trend, okay? Now, this is um, an example again, because um, let us do this. All right, there was some kind of zone here. There was some kind of zone here, right? As you can see, there was some kind of zone here. And what happened? Um, look at the last, um, no? It was called is the candle. This is the last bullish candle, which causes downward move and then broke structure upwards. We can call this our um, our our bullish um, mitigation block, all right. And as you can see, price after price after price eventually um, broke structure upwards. We can see that market went up a bit, came and retested this candle somewhere at the open price, as you can see, and then shut up. So this was a very clean break of structure. If you use a one hour, you will see it clearly. This candle, right? It came. It's um. What this, this was the last bullish candle came down, then took out structure. So this is an example of mitigation blocks. You can always find this through your chart. Always wait for market to come to retest that candle and then take your trade to the that direction, right? 
Um, let's look for another example of this. Uh, I can't really find a breaker block for now, but they're also there. They're also there. Uh, it's, um, okay. Look at this. This is uh, another example. Right. Look at this. Right. As you can see, there was some kind of zoom, a lower high, lower low. So um, the market, this was the last bullish candle, which caused this push and then broke. So, so this candle, this whole candle is uh, a mitigation block. This whole candle, as you can see, price came somewhere close to the candle, right? So price came somewhere around the candle and then continued going down. So these are actually very easy concepts to trade, even though the market still bought later on, all right? Uh, yes, I look at another example here too. You can see this also here. Look at this. Right, this was the last bearish candle that causes upward move, and then the call up the market broke this structure. All right, so you can see that this was the last bullish yes, bearish candle to move this mid this high. All right, as you can see, this was a clear breaker block. Why you can see lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. So the market eventually took out this lower high. This was a lower high, took out this structure, and then came down. Broke so. so this is an example of a breaker block. Why this is a blast bearish candle took out this last lower high and then still went downwards. So this is an example of breaker block. As you can see, if you highlight that candle, right? Let's highlight that candle to the future. Let's highlight the whole candle to the future. So this was the whole candle from here to here. And as you can see, price came into the candle and then continued going down, all right, to the next point of interest. All right. So you always find this in our charts and they are very profitable patterns to trade. All right, so in our next video, we'll be talking about uh, demand and supply zones, right? In our next video, we'll be talking about demand and supply zones. Next video, talk about demand and supply. All right, demand and supply zones. We'll be talking about in our next video. In our next video, talking about demand, we're talking about support, I mean, supply zones. We know how to add this to our trading as now, All right? So, um, this is how to treat this. This is how to treat this very profitable patterns. All right, it's now to enroll the uh, offer mentorship. Um, to teach you how to treat, um, how to analyze trades perfectly. All right, so we teach all these things for a little token. All right, so um, to enroll for our mentorship. All right, or to mentorship. Right, so just send an email to our. Our email, um, send an email to electron global at gmail.com. All right, all right, and global at gmail.com. All right, so if you want to enroll for our class, just send an, an email to electron global at gmail.com. All right, or hit the link below. All right, our courses are very cheap. We have the beginner. We have the beginner course, we have the beginner course, and the beginner goes for as low as $25, right? And we have the master course, right? The master course goes for as low as um, $65, right? Goes for as low as $65. Okay. So um, our, our master course goes as low as $65. Um, if you want boots, right? Boots goes at discounts of six dollars all right so if you want both of our courses it goes at discount of six dollars you'll be saving about thirty dollars for that to enroll for this so do well to um contact me to enroll for our class so remember our next video talking about um, demand and supply zones so right? to add that our trading us now right so that will be the end of our video for now cheers and um, God bless you. All right. Have a nice day.